Jason, come on. <laughs> Just boy. Ooh. I eat my peas with honey. I've done so all my life. He makes the peas taste funny, but he keeps them on my food. Okay, here I am having a snack of some nuts and then hot cocoa, which is a little bit of honey and cocoa powder and I put some coconut milk. I like the taste of coconut milk in my hot chocolate. It's a nice little treat for today. I'm feeling chocolatey today, chocolate oats. And I had a piece, two pieces of chocolate and now this. So I normally eat three meals a day with a lot of snacks in between, which is going to come to an end. I'm very interested in intermittent fasting and I've been researching all about it, checking out Dr. Berg's videos, but I don't think I'm going to go all in with it because I'm still breastfeeding and I want to keep my milk supply strong. So I don't know if it's going to mess with my milk supply. What I will do is stop snacking the snacking has to come to an end and also just stop eating at around seven or eight o'clock at night until breakfast when i break my fast also before breakfast maybe i will do some exercise when i'm in like a fasted um, state so that's exciting because i never really thought about what i eat before which is why i wanted to make this video because I want to see what I'm eating and I plan to do a few changes in the next few weeks. The other reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to just get my, my daughter to eat more vegetables. Don't tell her that. I want to eat more vegetables and definitely cut down on meat or cut it out. But I think cut down for now because like I said with my milk supply, 
this baby i was i went vegetarian for a year and then when i got pregnant i just started craving meat it was just like there was there was some kind of deficiency there i needed that meat and once i started i just couldn't stop so in the future i will be cutting that out but for now i plan to breastfeed for two years yeah i'm gonna give tyson what i gave tandy which is two years of milk no problem last week was um, international breastfeeding week you know how i feel about that i'm into breastfeeding my children and i'm so i'm so blessed that i can look at this guy tyson yes whoa <laughs> yeah i'm on a health streak i can exercise again i can eat um different foods again you know compared to when i was pregnant and i'm just coming out of the cloud the mist and things are starting to fall in place again i plan on teaching yoga again just getting my body ready for that and i'm very very excited for that that's what's exciting to me these days is just getting it all back for the chickens this is tyson's baby food mix but we didn't finish all of it oh my goodness let's go back in chicks chickies The chickens are gonna finish it and then we get even better tasting eggs so i don't mind too much about the waste it's not a waste they're eating it it's keeping me healthy it keeps us healthy
So that is what I eat in a day. Now, I'm very tired. You can see how red my eyes are. I'm actually going to have a nap when the children go to sleep at about 7.30 till 8. And then I'm going to get up, sneak out and do my exercise because I have to exercise as well. That's also why I eat the food I eat so that I can get in a good workout. And so I have a smoothie. Where's my smoothie? Robert brought me a smoothie. I got a free smoothie because I joined the gym. And then, then we're eating after supper and that. Well, whoa. Oops. And the breastfeeding makes me really tired. But it's worth it. I know it's good for his immune system. It's good for me, for longer life, for both of us. And I'm just happy to do it. And this phase, this phase will pass as well, as all the phases do. So it's still a really good time in my life. And I love having little kids. You didn't see the meltdowns, but they're there. Hey. <laughs> Daddy, please, let's go. Please,